Alba has been playing Happy Families. That's your baddie house. She says you live there now with your baddie family. <laughs> Kids are smart. Let's play dolls. This is Emma. She's a 25 year old nurse. Oh, here's Paul. He is an accountant. He wanted to be a professional tennis player, but he was only the 10th best tennis player in his state, so sometimes he hits people to make himself feel like he still has that killer serve. Emma meets Paul at work when he comes in to have a torn wrist ligament looked at. This is David. He is a gorgeous young FBI agent and Emma meets him at work too where he is very chivalrous and steps in when a drunk patient in the ER calls her a bitch. So Emma stops dating Paul. She's dating David now but Paul keeps getting drunk and calling Emma up and telling her that he loves her and sometimes that he hates her. And so David, here, wait a second. Oh, yeah. David starts watching over Emma's apartment. Every night after they go on a date, a handsome FBI agent sits outside in his car and watches over her while she sleeps. It's very romantic. David doesn't know that Emma knows this and she doesn't tell him. But you know, it does help her sleep at night. She feels, she feels safe. So one night, after they go out for ice cream, Paul calls, says he wants to come over. And Emma tells him to come, thinking that David will scare Paul off, and that will be that. But when Paul turns up, David waits in the car. And when Emma goes to answer the door, Paul pushes his way in. He argues with her and he cries and he rants and he raves. And Emma gives him a hug because she's a nurse and that's what nurses do when men cry. And that's when David gets out of his car and comes into the apartment with his pistol drawn. And when he opens the door and he sees Paul and Emma, he doesn't look handsome anymore. He looks angry. Paul steps back and he looks scared. And Emma looks scared too. And David fires his pistol and he shoots Paul in the lung. It takes Paul about 10 minutes to die. Emma could have helped stop the bleeding and maybe he could have lived, but 
David tells her not to. It was unlikely that Paul would have made it. And sometimes David points out it's better just to let the bad guys die. After watching a guy bleed out together, they get married. That helps make things make sense. Even so, Emma is sure that she'll be scared of David forever and ever. You waited because you wanted to save me. You wanted to be a fucking knight in shining armor. You look so small on the screen. I love you, David. But I'm not scared of you anymore. Goodbye.